Yes, my poor old chair. Um, it is well over a decade old. It's just an office, like a cheap office chair that has like a mesh back and um, no armrests. And up to the past couple of days, it would slowly leak down. Now it will not raise. If you try to raise it up, it'll just immediately deflate back down. So it's just completely gone. Gonna get that Atari refurbished. That sounds cool. New chair upgrade needed. Unfortunately, I am very broke, so that will have to come at a later date. But I'm I'm holding out for one at least. You make it. Yes, perfect. Aha! Love that. Now, just to be safe, we're gonna drop him right there. Your range, yeah. Best bet would be to get in behind him. Wait, only one can hit me. It's still gonna do all the damage that is needed to kill it, but... At least it'll distract from the big tank. We're slowly denting back the, uh, the, the enemy. We'll, we'll get there eventually. If they ever stop building. And this happens. Well, that one's gone. Yep, figured that would happen too. And it rains. When it pours, it rains. Oh well, we're gonna keep on keeping on. Uh, we're, we're actually pushing them back for a change, so they're... I mean, we're, we're, we're doing better than we were. About this game, I've completed it once, and now from time to time I, I, I am playing maps. I, I beat it back when it came out, when it was, when it was new. But uh, I also haven't played it since it was new, and since I beat it that time. But, uh... So I'm going in after uh, about 15 years or so, a little more than that, I think. It is awesome to be back, though. I really do like this game. It is it's one of my, my favorite old-school uh, GBA games. The ultimate challenge is Soul Harbor 122 days. That does sound like the ultimate challenge. Give me my power. Almost. Still not quite there. So much artillery ahead. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, well, going to line them up. Keep them coming. I like how he didn't attack me. The ultimate challenge, when I think of that, I think of Ultimate Warrior vs. Hulk Hogan WrestleMania 6. Wow. Takes me back.
There's that repair. I think I will save it till next turn, though. I love getting stuck on a bridge. What is this? Why did it do that? I, I am so sorry. I did not mean for that to, to hit you like that. I don't care if you put a few emotes on the page. I've got to set my Nightbot back so it doesn't attack so viciously. My apologies. Alright, I'm glad. I, I did not mean for it to do that, that's for sure. Now we are at a level where they can combine, and I don't feel bad about it. Go away, ABC. And I can build another mead. Gonna do that, and artillery, because we need to start charging more. Of course! Missiles. I am so sick of this map. are kind of expensive, so I'll, I'll keep uh, pumping these down. the status of the Ataris and I'll let you know I also have some NESs that may need some attention I'll be in touch see I love having a, a good community like this around where we can help each other out and keep each other in functioning equipment it's very nice here we go Another Bigums. We are taking back the bridge. gear has been sitting around in various states of decay. Oh man. I decided within the last year or so to just go ahead and save mine. Wanted to take it out and make sure it still worked and use it a little bit. And I've started acquiring a good bit more here lately. Amazing what you can do by going to uh, thrift stores and things like that. The 
the best thing about now is there are, there's a lot of options to save all retro equipment exactly. Now is the time to be uh, a retro gamer if you've already got a good setup. That's for sure. Have you guys heard that, uh, I think last week, uh, GameStop was up for, uh, sale, and two companies were eyeballing it, and then they, uh, they said they weren't for sale because there was no money in it. Like, it wasn't valuable enough to sell, and, uh, so they had to, so they had to take it off the plate for sale, and a lot of investors just backed out and, and stocks just plummeted even more. So GameStop is not doing too hot right now. Twenty five percent. See I didn't know the exact numbers, I just knew that they went downhill in a hurry. Ten bucks? Of course you'd still be throwing away your money. almost 30% but regardless it's a huge drop yeah yeah GameStop is probably not long for this this world well, not only do they uh, they upset a lot of their customer base but uh, they they just have terrible business practices, and from what I've heard, like with their conferences and stuff like that, they waste a ton of money. It's just a bad deal all around. So yeah, uh, I, I feel the GameStop may not be long for this world anymore. Oh, all this artillery. It's hurting. Yeah, they, they definitely upset some customers. A lot of bad practices. I, I knew something happened with Kingdom Hearts, but I really didn't look into it too deeply. So if you, if you want to fill me in, feel free, because I'm curious. I'm curious about that. It's lazy sales tactics. So what exactly did they do? So the, the PS4 Kingdom Hearts version, um, and they, they, they basically sold more than they could sell, is what you're telling me? I think Books A Million did that a few years ago, and uh, with, with like Marvel Comics, so now you can go into just about any books a million store that's still there and just buy them out in Marvel for like dirt cheap. Finally home? Well I'm glad you made it back. We are still it, probably in the same battle you left from. Because this is ridiculous. For one, you see how many missile launchers this guy has. Ugh. 
if you're just jumping back into the conversation, we were talking about how GameStop may not be long for this world anymore. How they really screwed the pooch. Ouch. Stop hurting me. So many missiles. I go ahead and put you back here. I can't build another boat and my boat ran out of fuel so it crashed, so I can't just skip over here and do it. And I can't build air stuff, so I'm basically fighting like this very terrible stalemate. Like the first battle of Bull Run up in here? Pretty much. I'm at a point now where I'm so deep into it that I'm tempted to just let myself lose and come back and, and try a different strategy. Godzilla versus Space Godzilla. Because basically what will happen is we'll, we'll, we'll trade back and forth. Uh, I will blow up a few units, they'll come in and blow up a few units, and it's just one right after the other back and forth, back and forth. Except, he's got more factories with, and more money that he can build from. He's building them almost as fast as I can destroy them. And since he has so much range, he's doing so much more damage before I can get to it. They do always have the unfair advantage. fact that I also have to traverse the map before I can even attack them. That, that also hurts. I'm gonna go all out and get a rocket next turn. way by doing that. Except for this little one that's not really going to do me too much. Alright, going to try to put an end to this range. Uh, on a scale of one to owned, is green going to kick your butt again? No, it's a stalemate. Like I, but We're not really progressing any. Like I said, he'll blow up a few of mine, I'll blow up a few of his, and it's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth.
And it snows, which slows things down even more. It is, it is like Soul Harbor. Alright. Go back there. Go up here. 95. I'm actually okay with leaving it like this because uh can't really do anything to me. After 120 days, I figured out a strategy, but I'm not going to tell you unless you ask. No backseat gaming here. I appreciate that, actually. Um, though it might it, it may come to a point where I am like, hey, so this this level, what now? But uh. But I appreciate you not just jumping in and trying to control the game. That is very kind of you, and, I, uh, and uh, a lot of people don't don't give you that courtesy. They're just like, "Hey, you should do this." Yes. Like I said, it's a big deal. A lot of people are just like straight up like come in and do this, do this, do this, play this way. <laughs> hey, you should blow the bad guys up, Leap Backseat Gamer. Exactly. Now we take back some of the range advantage. I'm gonna go for you. You can cause problems. Oh, you buy new units. It's not like Fire Emblem with a set of a set of characters. No, you you actually can renew your forces, provided that the map allows for it. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh. No, the military uh, industrial complex is alive and well here. Yeah, um, the way this works is, uh, see, like, these buildings here, I can build. And there are also airports and, uh, the straight-up ports, or harbors, but if the map doesn't allow for it, say, I can't, I, I started out with, with boats that I could travel across with, but since I don't have a harbor, I can't build more boats and I can't keep my boats from sinking. So I can't get across here anymore, so the only way I can go is these bridges. The only way. Halliburton? <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> Military madness? I can't say that I have. Redstone Arsenal? Yeah, I kind of like that. They're not far from me. The 
but now it is I who moves forward. I think there's an Illuminati sound effect in there as well. Uh, I've added some very me malicious sounds for your uh, listening pleasures. Now that, that's a trap. That's what that is. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to use strategy. Yes, exactly! Uh, I heard that echo. Don't know why. Yeah, I was going to say if the Illuminati isn't the X-Files theme I'm unsubbing, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Also, thank you for those bits, by the way. I appreciate that. I'm going to use you as target. Or bait. Supposed to attack the other thing. Yes, that. Oh. Yeah, it, it repeats for some reason. I haven't figured that out. But thank you for those bits. Yeah, I tried to I tried to load it up with some fun sounds. So we're gonna wait about popping our uh, our power this time. You are shock. Nani? <laughs> that one didn't repeat. Nani? Yes, it did. Never mind. Do you guys also hear them twice, or am I just uh, is it just my the way they're set up? Meme complete. Yes, it repeats. Oh no, I gotta fix that. What's your ring? Oh, he can't. He can't fire. All right, let's do this. I'll go ahead and heal you. We're finally pushing them back. No violent. Oh yeah, Fist of the North Star. So brutal. Taro touches your head, counts to ten, and watches you explode. Exactly. I think you have the upper hand, but it is I who have the power. Child on the head. Oh God, no!
Yes, all my all my advertising. I do have a YouTube channel. It is small. But it, I basically just take these streams, break them up by the, the breaks I take, and uh, just upload them. I don't do any fancy editing or anything like that. And I do have the quest mode now. It works. Why does it look like a horse? I had a nose bleeding here. Where's little Jimmy? I have... Oh, I can't even believe there is a live-action Fist of the North Star. See, no matter... East or West, doesn't matter. Whoever does live-action versions of anime, it's always going to be bad. With very few exceptions. Like, uh... Rurouni Kenshin. The live-action Rurouni Kenshin is actually good. I swear this 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 map is a stalemate and will never end. small wall of paints and such. And then not I'm gonna do what they're doing. I'm gonna overload the small island that I'm on and not push forward until I till I have a bunch of units here ready to just blow them away. And then just anything that comes up to my face I'll just kill it. She's an ordinary teenager on the outside, but on the inside she's 400 year old half human, half vampire sword fighter. If that does not suck you in, I don't know what will. That, that does sound kind of cool. Basically they're taunting me. I'm gonna call their bluff for a minute. Move you back here. Can I post a link? Uh, I don't know if it'll let you or not. Um, somebody earlier it got mad at for posting four emotes, so. Part of me feels like no, but you can try it, and if it does something to you, I will undo it. It lets you. There you go. What is that, by the way, if you don't mind me asking? It worked. I move everything I wanted to move. Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's a sample. 
Okay. Laughably funny. I believe it. I'll go ahead and push forward a little bit. Get rid of this artillery unit. Or missile launcher, whatever. Same purpose. Long range weapon. Because I can basically push them most of the way off this bridge right now. Crap. So I thought. My god, there's a lot of those. Tired of those existing. Well, at the very least, I can happily take the bridge. They'll take it back in a second, but... For a moment, it is mine. This is why I don't like the long range stuff. We're going to take this. We're, at, at the very least, we're across the line now. We, we, we have pushed them back somewhat to the edge of the bridge. We're actually improving.
the whole movie's available on YouTube? Oh wow. That bad, huh? Ouch. And yeah, weather changes. Kinda of scary how how low they took down because I only have this handful of units here. Fifty nine days. Ugh, this is grueling. I like how his belly shows. Reminds me of me. Oh no? What is oh no? I'm going to win this. Sometime, actually. Maybe.
Ah, stupid rain stuff. Why would, why would I be able to fire? Finally starting to wear them down though. I can tell that they're that he's 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 doing that CPU sorta of give up thing. It's like, oh, I'm uh I'm being outdone, I'm retreating, I have one guy left on the bridge, I'm not really attacking. I love that even with a craft out unit like this, I can still do a ton of damage. Loot! Loot. Still not working. I'm gonna have to work on that one after stream up. Should be loots. Don't know why that's not working. the dilemma. Sort of just barely going to retreat just enough to rebuild.
like I said before, it's more viable now though. I can I'm gonna overfill this area. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take They can't overload me though, they may try. I'm only I'm 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 saving my funds if you haven't figured that out by now. I'm saving my funds for very Specific uses. I only buy the, the missile launchers and the big boy tanks. Only things I'm buying right now. I figured they were eventually going to take this one. That's okay. They'll live. Yep, you can't reach me. <laughs> that was a mistake. One of your tactics is the key, that's what I was typing to say without 
spoilers. Yeah, that's... I'm trying to just, like, very... Be, be focused on how I spend my funds and... Basically just wait him out. Yes, and something else. Yeah, 72. I know it is taking forever. I'm, I'm feeling Mr. Meeseeks over here. I just want to die! <laughs> Fight forever. He had on a Sora jumpsuit. Oh, my CO. Yeah, he he kind of does. Apparently, I need another long range. He's backing off now. He knows. He knows that I figured it out. I figure next run we'll probably go in guns a blazing. As soon as I get everything I've built down here. See, they're running scared now. But they also know that I have to come closer where they can hit me. No, no, no snow cleared up. I'm silly. Get another big boy. When those two get down there, I think I'll press forward.
We're definitely keeping everything at bay now. Nothing wants to get close, that's for sure. Two more turns and I'll be ready. Next turn, and we will charge. Here we go. I don't think you can hit. Push forward begins. Yes, I'm gonna get hit, but it'll be worth it. surprised he didn't attack. I knew if I could get close to him, I could take him. The problem is getting close to him. Let's see if we can't move you back to safety. Not yet. Get out of there. Oh, 
all these big tanks ready to come rolling in. The hardest part is they have so many of these. Putting an end to this artillery stuff. I'm done with your shenanigans. I'm pouring in with tanks and they can't stop me from bombarding like this. until we finish this battle. I know I've ran over already, but I'm tired of losing. Ugh. to do this before you beat the level, but I gotta head out shopping. Best luck being the Green Menace, man. Well, I appreciate you being here. Yeah, we're... I, I feel like we're getting pretty close, but it's still just a little bit uphill. But thank you for hanging out. Um, you have fun shopping. And I will see you next time. Ugh. Oh.
Ouch. At 65 degrees, my heat won't turn off. Oh, wow. My heat is struggling to keep it at 65. Oh, geez. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the executive decision to position one of these right here, let them come toward me. I don't want to step foot into a crap. Hello, fam. What's up, Treasure Hunter Tom? Yet another Hobo Slayer in the house. Glad you could make it. I am struggling with this very, very difficult mission. I'm uh, I'm in the high 80s as far as like day counter goes. So it has been a very long, grueling run to get through this. But we're trying. Looks like a pretty tough fight. It has been awful. Do they have, uh, yeah, I'm crept up, I've crept up on their, um, factories where they can just load, 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 load. My factories are all the way on the opposite corner of the map, so I can't get close to them. Like, this is about as close as I've gotten. Their artillery is, is no joke. I think I'll leave it. See, I've stopped producing any sort of unit other than 
medium tanks and missile launchers because they're the only things I can get in a hit with. Stay alive with. Because they'll bombard me, but I can just bombard harder because I'm just going straight in and, and attacking head on rather than trying to do what they're doing and, and uh, hold one position. The Battle of Stalingrad. It's rough. I'm. I am sick of this fight. Battle fatigue is real, yeah. It absolutely is. But I'm finally working my way in. They're, they're kind of actually running away for once. That's a scary thing. That would be a bad idea. We'll call in one more of these. Problem is because of all these rockets, they just keep firing rockets at me.
Someone bring out the nukes. Yeah, it is. It has been such a long fight. Mustard gas for real. Getting rid of this guy as fast as possible. They're at a good stronghold right there. Send in the choppers. I need to send in everything. I can't build choppers if I can build them. I absolutely would. I just need to reload my, my attack position here. Send in what? Thirty more days. I hope not. Gojira, yes. Stop with that crap. I haven't seen snow in forever. Okay, this the first one. tanks down there. Once I get my tanks down there again, we'll, we'll charge. <laughs> Gajira-san is everybody's friend when he feels like it. tank down there to sort of go in after them. And 
95. Watching this actually has me stoked to try Wargroup now. You and me both. I am super stoked for that game. Very much so. Yeah, you'll be. Or a jumpsuit again. Yeah, that's uh, that's just the shorts he wears. Or an even better way to end the conflict: sending the creatures from Bird Box. Just don't look at them, right? All right, we need to be closer. Things can't go far. You're on the edge. How does a child own an entire army? Excellent question. He's he's actually not the owner. He's just like the commanding officer. Technically, I'm over him because I'm apparently in this somehow. So let's start at the back. Make sure none of them. Nope. Nope. Yes. In before 100 days for. Yeah. It's getting there. Are you his dad? No, no, I'm just uh, an advisor. I just issue the commands. <laughs> this shall be known as the 100 day potato war. Ooh. It's definitely shaping up that way. Jeez. And I have to full frontal regardless. I'm gonna I'm gonna sacrifice this one as a target. Tater tot. Many spuds were fried. Tater totted. Yes. We shall call him Tater Tot. See, that draws the fire. They're, they're naturally out to destroy those first. Can you attack? No. Can you attack? No. Can you attack? One guy. Here we go! Finally! Speaking of tots, I need Sonic in my life. I have 
four dollars to live on until Friday, uh, uh, so I, I, I would love some food, but it is just not happening. No, no, I'm freaking starving. I haven't eaten anything all day. I had uh, a little bit of a breakfast, but not much. Get down there! Yes, go eat for sure. Oh, you're, you're quoting. Oh, okay. You just had dinner? Oh. Oof. Big boy. some weird Japanese snacks that I got from stream gifts and some of them were interesting sounds like it what you get from messing with my big tanks <laughs> it's so nice to finally be tearing through these long range things. I'm getting like frustrated now. I'm just like, please let me win. Thankfully, we're finally in a position to actually go somewhere and do some things. My score on this particular level is going to be garbage. You're in my way. Ever wanted to eat a cheese puff that was pickle ketchup flavored you can with insert Japanese characters here Ooh. I think I'll pass thank you Cartoff Cartoffel is such a nice dad son you are a good boy you have 4.0 GPA you do your chores and you play nice with your sister so mom and I decided to get you your own army for your birthday have fun slaughtering your enemies exactly Accurate story is accurate. Sounds like the bad version of Bean Boozled flavor, right? Some of these were rough. Sounds like it, though I am intrigued. Fuel share, sweet. Wait, I shouldn't have done that. Let me, let me do this instead. We're going to make the actual push here. Fly! Supplies!
Pickling ketchup sounds good, but not as a cheese puff. No, and, and it does sound very weird. Also, a big crunchy thing that tastes like corn on the cob. Wow. Yeah, they're getting desperate. They didn't produce any more uh, artillery units. You're in the way, but we'll get rid of you first. Weird Japanese candy is weird. Bet you can't attack. Nope, just out of range. So what we're gonna do is make you bait since you're kinda low. Just gonna blow you up. I love weird Japanese candy. They have some of the best sweets. I'm inclined to agree, even if uh, the rest of the stuff is very, very strange. Yeah. We're finally past the barrier. We we have made it into the enemy territory. I was sad that there were no Kit Kats in the bunch. Oh, that is that is just sacrilege right there. Weird Kit Kats are the best Japanese candy. You are absolutely right. Actually, I think there are some wasabi flavored Kit Kats. texture of cheese puffs with chocolate instead. That that does sound awesome. Gonna get rid of you. I like Pocky too. Corncob thing was the texture of cheese puffs, but it was long and sort of hollow in the middle. <laughs> that kill for Pocky? Yeah, it, it's it's pretty dang good. The artillery have kind of served their purpose anyway. Big problem is now they're in my way. I'm gonna have to move them back. He's trying. Leave my shorts alone. I will do bad things for Japanese candy right now. like me and any sort of food. My daughter loved those Pocky Sticks too. I'm usually begged into buying them whenever they're available. 
like the good father. Oh my goodness. I also like going to the Asian markets around here and browsing for the candy owl. It's fun to try new things, but it's also calculated risk. Yeah. Definitely true there. The Wii Shop channel is officially offline now. Okay. Time to, uh, time for a moment of silence. downloaded all the demos for the sake of it and it went offline a few minutes ago. That's sad. Am I gonna get actual actual candy or weird fish chocolate? Who knows? Gonna do a tribute on stream tonight here. I I, I agree. Let's see, do you Oh, you don't stand a chance. If anyone goes to play through March, we will go get all the food and candies. That sounds awesome. Shop dead. Officially dead, dead. It is truly a historic event. A sad one at that. Plug has been pulled. I think we're officially in winning territory. The, the win is actually in sight now. He's got three units total. And I have more than that. We shop is best jam, I know. Spent some money at the Wii Shop. I have, I have bought a few things back in the day. I can't think of anything recent that I bought. you can count. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad of you. I'm, I appreciate you noticing. <laughs> he has three and I have more than that. <laughs> exactly. Woohoo! Oh, the Switch uses an absolutely different storefront. The Switch um, is a completely different interface. Uh, they don't sink badly. The uh, Wii had probably the strongest virtual console, with the Wii U being second. Here we go, guys! Finally. That was a slog. Ugh. You haven't owned a no friendo since the Wii? You are missing out, my friend. The Switch is probably the best thing ever. The Wii U does have a different shop, but it has 
Game Boy Advance games, it has DS games, it has uh, Super Nintendo, all sorts of fun stuff. Switch is fantastic. The Switch has not got to eShop level yet. In fact, there is no eShop on the Switch right now. You have some Neo Geo classics and you have some Sega classics. And you have this weird Netflixy online service NES game player that adds a couple games every month. But, uh... It's not the same, and, and it's only NES games right now. Though there's teases, there's been some data mining that's happened where Super NES has been discovered, as well as a couple other emulators that have weird code names. You can't exactly tell what they are, but people are speculating. But we just don't know yet. But, yes, we finally did it! We finally did it! Napoleon would have been proud, Mr. Potato. This has been the longest. I have went two hours on this single level. I didn't lose, but boy, it took forever. I just want some GameCube and N64 games on the Switch, too. So very badly. So very badly. Don't even have to remaster them, though it would be nice. I just want them there. But, we are finally done with this level, so we're going to get through it, save, and that's going to be it for me because it has been five hours tonight. I'm proud of that. I'm not really, like, sad that it's been so long. But, the fact that, that it took two hours on one level is just like, okay, I'm done for the night. I, I'm ready to be done. And we're going to read this guy's lines, What whoever talks to him. We're going to save, and we're going to call it, and we're going to raid somebody. There are weird NES games right now. But see, Nintendo, they they have a weird policy about online. For one, they have no idea what it is. They don't really understand it. Nintendo and online are, are, are foreign languages from each other. And the they released, you know, the NES and the SNES classics... But they discontinued them so they could focus on Switch Online. In order to get the NES games on the Switch, you have to have Switch Online service, which is not expensive for what it is. It's like $20 a year. But uh, it's still annoying because you don't get those games. You get access to them. Whereas old stuff, you can just buy games. You can just have the games on your system and they were forever attached to your account. The way this is set up now, we don't know how long those games are going to be available. We don't know if they're permanent fixtures, but we don't know if it's literally like a Netflix thing where you go in one day and something's gone because they dropped funding on those games to keep other games up that nobody likes or people have forgotten about or something like that. Sort of like how Netflix dropped all like the Futurama and stuff like that, the stuff that I really, really like to keep friends up. The, a show that I've literally never watched, ever. But anyway, yes, so we are done with this level. You've beaten me. So you're Drake. Or that I be. I wanted to find some answers here, but all I've needed are more questions. I'll be seeing you again, lad. You were so close. <laughs> Is that an E rank? E rank? E. <laughs> so, so bad. Woo! One hundred and six days. We have spent far too long on this one level. All right, folks. I'm tired. I think we're going to call it right here. So thank you for sticking around, those that did. And um, 
thank you for all the follows and bits and things of that nature. I appreciate all that. It helps me out. helps me pay the bills. Potato level, exactly. I just appreciate you guys being here. Uh, goodbye. I'm glad you could join us. Glad you could see me slog through that very long journey. But, uh... I'm gonna call it right here. We're gonna we're gonna raid somebody, so please don't leave yet. I uh, want to share this love that you guys have shown me. So, um, you guys have a great night, and I'm going to attempt my very best to be on Friday night, especially with War Group coming out, because I'm gonna get it. But until next time, thank you. Have a good night.